Welcome, my name is Tarek Abu Salud. This video will cover how to backup and restore the configuration file from Cisco routers. Backup your configuration is very very important because you should take into your account worst cases such as configuration file is missing or corrupted, configuration file is accidentally deleted or hardware failure. In our scenario, the IP address of the router is 192.168.1.50 and my IP address or my PC IP address is 1.106. Now, we want to backup the configuration file stored in the RAM or NVRAM into a TFTP server. My PC will be a TFTP server. I've installed a SolarWinds TFTP server program. Go to all programs, just run it. No configuration is needed on the SolarWinds TFTP server, just install it and run it. Now my PC is a TFTP server. Let's copy the configuration file into my PC or my TFTP server. Issue the command copy running configuration file means we want to copy the running configuration file in the RAM into my TFTP server. What is the IP address of my TFTP server? My IP address is 1.106. The configuration file's name r1-config. I want to save it into my TFTP server with the same name. Okay, done. The configuration files will be stored on the C TFTP root. You can change it from file configure as you see from here. Okay, we want to go to C TFTP root. This is my configuration file. Now the backup is done. Let's change the host name of the router. Conf T host name Cisco one for example. Now if I restore my previous configuration file or my backup file r1-config, the host name will be changed to r1. Let's see how to restore my configuration file or my backup configuration file. Copy, we want to copy from tftb to running configuration file. Copy from tftb to running configuration file. Copy tftb to running configuration file. Yes, what's the IP address of the TFTP server? 106. What's the source file name? This is the file that I want to copy to my router. R1 config. The destination file is running config. Enter. Okay, done. So the host name of the router has been changed from Cisco 1 to R1 as it was in my configuration file or backup configuration file. So the restore is done. For more videos, visit my channel on YouTube, YouTube slash C Tariq Abu Salud, and visit netsyshorizon.blogspot.com. Also join a Facebook group Netsys Horizon to get automatic updates in your Facebook. Thank you for watching.